baby's still asleep. I don't know if she just woke up. Did I wake you up? Hey, we're at our campsite. Do you want to get out or do you want to sleep some more? Whoops. I think I just woke her up. She's probably not happy about that. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's the perfect campsite, but it's got a lot of white noise. We're now in the Bridger Teton National Forest. This is an area where you kind of have to be wary of bears. But I think the main thing is, look at this. That is the Gray River, Gray's River, which runs into, I think, the Snake River. And the Snake River then goes through like Idaho and, and all that. But we're in Wyoming right now, Bridger Teton National Forest. And that's awesome. I mean, you got this cliff all the way up. And then this river. Bam! You know what that means? White noise all night long. Hi. White, hi. White noise all night long. Yes. All night long. We may long. not even need a sound machine. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. 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 Are you making dinner? Yeah, it's a minute and a half. A minute and a half. We're doing like one of these freeze-dried add yes. water meals tonight because bears. I already know which one I want. Bears. That's all we gotta say is bears. <laughs> There's not gonna be any bears here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. Alright. Well the adventure continues. I want my blanket. <laughs> I guess dinner's ready. All right. <laughs> Hot water. What's on the menu tonight? Macaroni and cheese with beef. Ooh. Mm hmm And this is the one I really wanted to try. Rice and sweet pulled pork. Yummy. Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah. They're really good. I like them. At least the ones we had last time. Yeah. yeah. All right, bring it on. Campfire. Dried, freeze dried food. And bears. And a, cr and a cranky toddler is what I was going to say. And bears. <laughs> yeah, they're good. So I guess the next question if there are bears, what do you do? I think the main thing is, and of course I've never actually encountered a bear, so I don't know if this would actually work or not, but bear spray. That's what they say. They say bear spray. It's like pepper spray on steroids. I guess it could work for lots of different critters, but uh, bear spray, that's what they say. Question is, in a panicked moment, are you actually gonna remember to pop this thing off before you press the trigger? And make sure you're actually pointing it in the right direction that's the key. It's like pepper spray for bears. I guess that's one way to keep them away. The other, they say, is make lots of noise, bang pots and pans together. I know the audience that's listening and watching from Australia doesn't really have to worry about bears. You guys got a lot of other things there that'll kill you. So, you know, that's okay. You got your own problems. But here, bears. So what you got for dinner? Yeah. You got some oats? It's not really a dinner food, but I know you love your oats. Do you like the campfire? 
Yeah. The fire's getting bigger. The fire's getting bigger? Yeah. Yeah, did Daddy do a good job on the campfire? Yeah. Yeah. We'd made our way up through the southwest corner of Idaho to a spot east of the town of Alpine, Wyoming. We were about an hour from the trail that would take us to Monument Ridge. I don't know, what do you think? Our main goal of this trip. I like the moistness of that one. Yeah. This one has great flavor. It's got great flavor, yeah. And after a full day of highway driving, it was nice to be able to spend time together around the campfire. Maybe I should quit eating this one. No, I mean, if you're hungry, eat. I was so hungry. This campsite was a gem of a find and a perfect jumping off point for the next day's adventure. Mama. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Did you just tell me to cover you up? Yes. Is, uh, is that what you said? Yeah. I'm gonna try to cover my animal. Yeah. I love you so much. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Good morning. Not gonna lie to you, last night was pretty cold. How come you get to look all refreshed and sexy <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> freezing. Yeah, it's it's pretty cold this morning too. It's, it's pretty cold. Yeah. The hot coffee. Hot sweet. coffee. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad, but my hands are so cold. Yeah. I got up, started moving around, and once I actually sat down for a second, that's when it all of a sudden hit me. Yeah. It was like... The sun feels yeah. amazing. The shade feels like torture. <laughs> Honestly. Mm. Yeah. But, uh... Wyoming. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> It's June, brr. <laughs> it's June in Wyoming and it's cold. So. And we were at double the altitude. Double the altitude in Utah. Yeah. And it was like a sweatshirt. <laughs> and here. Yeah. Woo. Well. Yeah. 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 But that's all right. Way to go, Wyoming. Way to go, Wyoming. No Wyoming. Way to do cold. Yep. Can't even see my eyes. But hey, there. no bears last night. No bears. No bears. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Clink. <laughs> I'm a drink to that. Yeah. And I slept like there were going to be no bears. Yeah. It took me a hot second. but Have, Having that river in the background, the Grays River, mm -hmm. that uh, that white noise all night long was nice. We didn't even turn on the sound machine for the baby. No. And at first I thought, oh, that's some serious wind coming our way. And then I was like, oh, no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. There's a river. There's right a river. There. A real yeah, river. A real river. It's, you know, yeah, a real not, one. Not the kind you want to fall into because <laughs> no. it's it's moving. No. It is moving. Yeah, it's hauling yeah. focus. Yeah. All right, so. I'm going to go check breakfast. All right. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so it's cold. But uh, beautiful, beautiful. Here, let me show you around.
Most mornings, we let Julesy sleep as long as she needs, which gives us some time to have our own breakfast and be mindful in the peacefulness of our surroundings. Sometimes we'll talk about our plans, adventures, and lessons learned, while other times we sit quietly. That is until Alicia breaks the silence with one of her famous deep thought ponderings. Okay, so this is my second spot for trying to have my breakfast in the sunshine, right? And the first time I got up and moved because there was some like old poo sitting on the ground next to me and I don't know whose poo it was. <laughs> Not that it matters, but anyhow. So this is my second spot and there are like all these ants all over the place. So now I need to <laughs> know, would you rather sit in poo or sit on an ant hill? Both obviously by accident. Is that with clothes yeah. or naked? No, with clothes. Okay. And they don't even have to be like the venomous kind of ants. They can be like the all black ants. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm choosing ant hill. Yeah, I don't really want to sit in somebody else's poo or some other animal's poo. <laughs> so what's the dilemma? I don't want to take my jacket off to wash dishes. It's a little bit chilly. It is warming up. It is. In the sun. It is. It's getting warm. Here we go. I got this. After breakfast, while Mama cleaned up the kitchen, we took a short walk in search of wildflowers. So here we are in the Bridger Teton National Forest and see the nice little stream behind us here, river, I don't know what you want to call it. We're here to take on Jeep Badge of Honor Trail known as Monument Ridge. Now the trail says difficulty can be anywhere from two to eight and that's depending on how much rain and mud you encounter along the way. I don't know if you can see behind me. Looks like it's clear skies over here. But where we're going, it's kind of overcast. We've seen some sprinkles. So this could be a fun day. Guess it's time to get to it. Monument Ridge Trail. For those unfamiliar with the Jeep Badge of Honor, Jeep has a program for owners 
where owners can earn badges for running certain trails across the United States. Trails from mild to wild are part of the program, and we'd earned 14 badges so far. It's a novelty, but gives us yet another reason to get out and explore. Monument Ridge Trail itself is an offshoot off of Cliff Creek Road. While we were approaching the trail from the west on Cliff Creek, the information we found ahead of time showed most people approaching from the east. And we would soon find out why. I feel like we're driving into doom. it for this episode if you'd like to see more please don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notifications button so you'll be the first to know when we post new content it's something small you can do to help us out thanks for watching our journey has just begun